It's ferns, ferns, and more ferns on this fossil fern episode of Rock Hounding USA. Here we are just a little bit northeast of St. Clair, Pennsylvania, and we are in the famous fossil fern shale beds that cover the ground everywhere you go here outside of St. Clair. Nearly every rock that you pick up is literally covered and filled with remains of fossil plants, primarily ferns, looks like some tree bark. I highly, highly recommend coming out to this location. You will not be disappointed. These tailings are extensive. They are completely covered with fossils and we will have instructions of exactly how to find this location. You will not be disappointed. We're already making plans to come back here. This place is amazing. Chase and I have had an incredible time. We've only been about 30 minutes and we found more things than we can even carry out. I uh, wish we had a four-wheeler. Wish we had a wheelbarrow and someone else to wheel it out of here. Uh, folks, St. Clair, Pennsylvania, unbelievable fossil ferns. There's a good chance that you've passed by examples of St. Clair fossil ferns in the collections of many museums, or at least you've seen photos of them in geology books and magazines, and with good reason. In many of the fossils of this area, the original organic plant material was replaced by pyrite, and then due to an oxidation process eventually leading to pyrophyllite, the fern and plant impressions became a brilliant white material set against the dark gray of the shale as seen here. This incredible contrast has made St. Clair fossil ferns the envy of the fossil world. Hopefully this video has whetted your appetite to visit this spectacular collecting location. If so, it's time for directions. St. Clair, Pennsylvania is only about three miles off of Interstate 81, nestled along Route 61 in central eastern Pennsylvania. Once you arrive in the heart of St. Clair along Route 61, turn east onto East Hancock which eventually becomes Burma Road. You will drive exactly 2.8 miles and you'll see a small parking area on the right just before the road begins to curve to the left and go gradually uphill. Now a word of caution, there is another parking lot on the right just before you get to this spot. That parking area is for a gun shooting range. If you pull into a lot and see some boulders and then several wooden stands just beyond those rocks, and then you're in the wrong spot you'll need to travel about another 100 yards to the east. Once you find the proper parking spot, take the smooth gravel hiking trail to the southeast for approximately 850 feet. Another trail will break off to your left. Take it. You'll need to hike about another 1,200 feet down the second trail until you see a small footpath through the bushes on your right. Go about 50 feet down this new trail and the collecting area will open up before you. It's quite extensive. But don't worry, even if you miss the second trail, if you hike all the way down the first trail, you will eventually hit the lower western end of the collecting area. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Rock County USA, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you out in the field.